and a dog and <gasps> got pregnant. No, no, no! Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myri, and today we're going to be watching a degenerosity video called Your School Confessions. I mean, it's just a school, so it can't be that bad, right? Right? Anyways, let's get right into it. I'm back. I'm and back. I'm black. <laughs> Last video, I asked you guys for your confessions, specifically mm. your school confessions on the craziest events that happen at your school. And mm -hmm. after reading multiple submissions, I realized most of y'all schools have something in common. So much so, it feels like all you guys went to the same school. Mo backpacks? Definitely backpacks. Most of these confessions were about your freaky couples doing stuff in class or in the mm. hallways, the weird old teachers that were caught watching the dirty, or trying to do it with another student. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I know these, like, confessions can be a little wild, right? But come on, th there can't be that many confessions that are like that, like, right? Right? People getting leaked a lot of explicit stuff going on. I swear, like 80% of these submissions involve poop, beating it at school, and f And when it wasn't that, it was like, uh, I pooped my pants in kindergarten. Bro, it's Are these high school confessions? Because uh, this is kind of wild if this is like high school stuff. Like, I feel like, oh God, why, why, why? If, you know, if this was college, right? If this was like college confessions, I'd be like, okay, this I could kind of all see, you know, some wild stuff happens in college. People set couches on fire and like they got those fraternities and sororities doing some wild like sacrificial stuff that they, you know, like those kind of things. But if this is like high school stuff, I mean... <sighs> Kindergarten. Oh, I expect my. that. Maybe I should have thought ahead. I'm not really known for using my brain. Me too. But if I have to read someone smearing poop in the bathroom one more time. Seriously. Okay. So, okay. What? Why? What is up with that? Why? Please tell me that's not going to be the, this whole video is about is poop smearing on the wall because that's disgusting. Why is that a confession? Why on earth is that something that you would even admit to? I'm going to lose it. <laughs> oh, no. Like something else I've done recently that I cannot elaborate on. Coffee, 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 coffee. Ah, cool, a contract. Let's sign it. So I'm just oh, gonna boy. go off and read my favorite ones that I could find. All right, let's oh, I really, thank God it's not the poop ones. Just, I, unless if he's into that. Oh God, I hope not. Short one. <laughs> one time when the teacher left the room to talk to a student, I checked the teacher's search history and find. Wait, and find zoo. <gasps> um. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Zootopia stuff. <laughs> no! no to a good start. I used the school bathroom to piss. Will you ever forgive me? You no! Oh, wait, actually, that's not that bad. Okay, this seems a lot more normal. Okay, maybe these aren't all that bad. All right. You actually used the school bathroom? Ew. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. We need to talk about this. That is not real. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. That's not real. There is no way. You only have one roll of toilet paper for three toilets. Why is there a vent under? But like, why is there a vent by the toilet? What, it, what, what is wrong with these toilets? Why do the toilets look like this? What? This looks like something out of a fever dream. We used the school bathroom to use the bathroom. You're disgusting. What's next? You yeah. wash your hands in school oh, bathroom too? Come you on. You know, I'm so happy I ate before watching this. This Seriously, can we just stop with the poop stuff? Like, can we just stop with this? Wait, hold on. Break. I share a class with a super senior and we we're doing a homework assignment about school threats I made a comment on how sometimes students make threats all talk and no fight The super senior called me a and started approaching me Told his that if he wants to fight, let's fight But the teacher pulled him aside and told him to go outside and calm down And then this chess motherfucker had the audacity to throw a water bottle at me And we both got sent to the office The super senior looks like an edgy quiet kid uh -huh. Bro, you should never mess with him, bro You're first up on his list If I Bro I don't know. Okay, first of all, I... What is a super senior? Okay, so a super senior is a student who attends to a four-year institution for more than four years. Has the Oh, so basically they like f fail their test to be to graduate and then they are stuck for a little bit longer until they pass that test so they become a super senior. So not only is this guy like... <laughs> 
kind of not smart, but also likes to pick fights. You, sh you honestly shouldn't be messing with it if he looks edgy. He's about to write you in his death note, dude. How are you? I'd start being as friendly as possible. Get him Magic the Gathering cards or something. You know, something that'll make him happy. This happened last year. Okay, a little bit of stigma from that. Not every edgy kid plays Magic the Gathering. Um, we all know they're more into Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, please don't cancel me! And I went to the drinking fountain with my buddy after PE, and I heard noises in the bathroom. So we went to check it out, and when we jumped to the look at the stalls, we saw the math teacher plowing the English teacher in the freaking male bathroom in between periods. Is Stop. That's not real. That is not real. <laughs> Freaking insane. He took a picture of it and showed the school administration. That's and he not got real. Suspended for taking the picture, but both teachers were fired. Why was he suspended? He took photo evidence of two teachers doing indecent exposure in a school bathroom. Unless he spread it around to all the... Well, I mean, let's be honest. We all know that that kid was spreading that around. Like, yo, man, check out this. Like, this crazy. Like, we all know that was definitely happening, one. Second of all, there is no way that this is an actual confession. Like, I do not believe that this is real. This has to be fake. And lastly, what the hell is this photo? The other students, he should have never got suspended. What's worse is that the English teacher was cheating on <gasps> his wife. Yes, it was two male teachers. What? And he had a son that was in our class, and bro never forgave us. What? Okay, no, this cannot be real. There's no way that this is an actual real school confession. Like, that sounds like something I would find on, like, a Reddit post. Like, off my chest kind of stuff, you know? Like, there's no way that's real. Nah, if I was bro, I'd switch schools, man. There's no coming back from that. Like, what his dad did is almost as bad as having, like, an OnlyFans mom. You know, the clowning would never stop. I, I mean, I guess there's, like, a, a... Sure, I guess that is, like, kind of true, I guess. But that's, like... That's only if people, like, ever found out. Uh, which, at this point, I feel like there's so many, like, OnlyFans out there that... Eventually, there is going to be a lot of, like, insults being thrown out. But, like, well, at least my mom's not an only fan. Which is such a stupid thing to, like, get made fun of. Because, like, I don't know, man. Like, maybe their mom makes more money than, like, your parents combined. Like, I, I just, I feel like the jealousy is insane. But, of course, you know, kids be kids. And they like to throw around insults whenever the hell they can. Like, I, ugh, gosh. I remember, like, being bullied for the dumbest stuff. Like, I had really long hair growing up. Like, super long hair. Went down to my knees. And I would get bullied for it all the time. Like, the girls would constantly make fun of me for having long hair and said how, like, oh, because my hair is long, my mom didn't love me enough. Or, like, I'm too poor to get a haircut. That's why my hair is so long. And it's like, nowadays, all girls just want to have really long, pretty hair. And I don't keep my hair long like that anymore because of just how much I got bullied for it. There was this one dude who was friends with me since I moved to this state five years ago. And we've been drifting apart recently because he has some unsavory things about certain people that uh -huh. I did not want to be associated with. Oh, God, is he? racist or is he okay either racist in a polyamorous relationship or does drugs yeah let me guess he was racist he was very into Wait, was he, racist? Yeah, he was definitely racist uh -oh. he didn't have a lot of friends but he thought of me as a friend fast forward to now and it's halloween 2023 and this kid comes into school wearing a full no. military tactical no 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 outfit with a bulletproof vest and a helmet. Everyone already thought this kid was a threat, and today people made sure to be extra nice to him, just in case, you know? I'm glad I stopped being around this kid so much because I really do not want to be known around this guy. Yeah, your former friend is super weird, bro. I'm so glad that you got out of that no. friendship. But if what the? Who are you? What the <laughs> okay, we're talking about something incredibly serious, right? Like, like you know, uh, kind of someone about to do something very regrettable but and bro puts this as the gift as the gift what is this yeah your former friend what is, is this? super weird bro i'm so glad that you got out of that friendship oh but. okay okay mm. i there's a lot of things happening in this one screenshot like i'm I, it's not even so much about this it's the fact that there's a centipede on the wall and i can't tell if that's real and that's really bothering me but also like this is kind of funny too if i saw someone show up in that fit to school one day Honestly, I'm I'm yeah. or I'm me. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Myself. I'm not gonna stay at this uh -huh. school. Possibly gonna get shot. Same. Some of got his pants stolen off of him while he was taking a shit. Like someone just crawled under and yanked him off. 
Who the hell robbed him, Mr. Bean? Okay, I actually have a really embarrassing and funny, like, confession of my own about this exact same situation, but not all, not ex okay, not exact, but like, okay, one time when I was in middle school, I, so, to preface, I have ADHD, so I forget a lot of things sometimes, such as, um, you know, going to the bathroom stall and forgetting to lock the bathroom door. So I'm sitting there, you know, doing my business and stuff. And literally, like, within moments after I sat down on the toilet, this other girl came bursting into my stall. Like, didn't even bother knocking. Literally, like, you know, like, I get it. Like, when we're kids, like, you don't really think about that kind of stuff. But literally just full force, like, slammed that door open, hit my legs and stuff, too. And she, like, saw me. I saw her. And she's just like... Oh my god, Mari, what the hell? Like you should be like locking the door and stuff. And I'm just like, uh, I, I forgot. And you know what was really embarrassing about all that is that was the day I wore my Hello Kitty underwear. And um, yeah, I, I got made fun of a lot for that. That was that was a very embarrassing moment, but I just forgot to like lock the door. So now I make sure that doors are locked at least three or four times before I leave. But this mm, someone stole my pants. I, um my friend and I walked into the school without giving the f to a teach. Big bro was moaning like crazy. It was wild. But after the school heard of this, the teacher was fired and the thought was suspended for three weeks. That day is now known as, did that shit really happen? Come on, guys. At this point, you know that if this is a high school, that's disgusting. He should be arrested if this uh, teenager is a teenager and not 18. But if this is college, I mean, I guess they're all adults. So I don't, I don't really know how that works. I think that would make more sense because this is high school. That guy's going to jail. P.S. You is not beating no damn demon. The fuck is you want? Yes, I am. I'm built Wait. different. Don't tell me what I can't beat. In year. You don't know you can't beat us right. You bark at him. You bark at him. Eight on some cold ass morning. This kid who I only talked to like once or twice, he was weird. Okay. Um I have a lot of gripes about this whole like weird comment, okay? Like, okay, if you're gonna confess about someone and you're gonna like make fun of people and stuff, like, all right, like I feel like people like to use the word weird so easily because I get called weird a lot and I'm like, okay, come on. Like, sure, I guess I'm a little cringe but that's kind of like the other way to say weird i don't know i get i feel like using the word weird is so vague to like describe somebody you don't like had asked me if i wanted to see something i said okay. yes, of course and he opened his jacket to show me a grenade i take it back he is weird he is absolutely not just actually He's deranged. He's mentally ill. There's something wrong with this guy. Never mind. I was not this kind of weird. I was the I like to draw um I like to draw fan art of Naruto and Sasuke kind of weird. Like I was not bringing weapons to school. Why why do people bring weapons to school? What is why? This kid walked into school with a grenade and when our classes started, the building he was in evacuated because he threw the grenade pin still in and everyone started screaming and ran. Police showed up and everyone got to find out what really happened. Turns out his grandpa fought in either World War II or the Vietnam War and kept the grenade as a memento, which is illegal, and this kid managed to get his hands on it. After police confiscated it, they safely destroyed it. A bunch of kids needed counseling, and the kid was taking some time to himself, which just- What the hell is that? Oh my god, this shit is insane. Okay, look, I used to get bullied a lot. A lot. Like, my whole life, I have been bullied. And that's not an exaggeration. I did not have any friends. I was that weird girl who watched a lot of anime and would play video games. And I really like to play MMOs. And so, because of that, a lot of people just didn't want to talk to me. And so, I would get made fun of a lot. I also had very long hair. I was very, very pale. And people would just constantly make fun of how I looked. And, like, I get it. I was bullied relentlessly throughout my entire life. And I still never once thought to bring a weapon to school. I never once thought to do that. Like, yes, I was very sad and I made all my friends online to kind of cope with it. And now, you know, I, 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 I'm an anime girl now and that kind of helps me cope with my with a lot of things that happened to me. But I never once thought to like hurt people. Or go to school and be like, yeah, this is going to show everybody not to mess with me anymore. Like, this is why 
being kind pays really well at the end of the day, but <sighs> it meant he was expelled, but my school hates that word for some reason. Bro, imagine if the school's weird kid approaches you and pulls out a grenade. Like, what do you do in that situation? Honestly, I don't know what I'll do. Because if he pulls the pin, how do I get away? If I run away, he's just gonna chuck that shit at me and I'll blow up. If I okay, that's a really funny bitch. <laughs> the fucking garbage. <laughs> stay there. He's gonna stay there too and I blow up. What am I gonna do? You're just gonna have to get blown up, I guess. And now, like, again, the image that he used earlier here with, like, oh, like, oh, the, the, the weird kid, the, 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 the weird kid, the, 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 the weird kid, everybody. The ginger with glasses is the weird kid. This is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. It's like, look, if you're gonna call someone weird, don't call the ginger kid with glasses weird. Like, that's kind of like derogatory and mean. Like, there's no reason for that. But if there was someone who was actually mentally unstable and you're gonna call that person the weird kid, like, I don't think that they're weird necessarily. I think that they're mentally ill and they need help. Clearly, this person was not in the right state of mind to be doing this kind of crazy stuff that they were doing. And I'll blow up. If I stay there, he's gonna stay there too. And I blow up. What am I gonna do? Thank God he didn't pull the pin. And thankfully, everybody at your school is safe. At my yeah. high school, there was this girl that everyone had a major crush on. Turns out she was sleeping with everyone. I know this because I might have slept with her. She got. What do you mean you might have slept? <laughs> Wait, you don't remember? <laughs> oh man, I mean, I don't really remember a lot of stuff from high school either. I guess. A boyfriend and slept with someone else while having a boyfriend. The boyfriend killed the random NPC and went to jail. After this, what? Wait, was this the grenade kid? No, no, no. But like, what do you mean the boyfriend killed the random NPC and went to jail? Like, what do you what do you mean he just killed the random NPC? What do you mean by what? Why are you describing? A fellow like classmate that died as a random NPC. That's kind of fucked up. She was questioned by police and told them that the boyfriend wasn't satisfying her. Turns out she had mental. Bro, you were like 17, 18 years old. You don't even know what actually satisfies you until you are a full grown ass adult, which at like doesn't even happen until you're like, what? Don't they say your brain develops at like 25 or something like that? Like, you don't even understand how the world works. You don't even know how to do your taxes problems and went to a ward fast forward seven years later and my girlfriend meets this really nice person i don't like where this is going i don't like where this is going it's the same girl <gasps> bro no 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 tell your tell your partner that she got a guy killed like just be like honey she got this random npc killed because he couldn't satisfy her in like this whole like you know, she doesn't want to do her taxes and like it's, it's just kind of a bad situation. I'm I don't want to die and I don't want you to die. Run. <laughs> Basically, mm. I bought a gun to school because I was super mad at my teachers. What the hell is wrong with you? Th this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Classmates for making fun of me. I then walked in school, got patted down because one of my friends ratted on me and I had As he should have got expelled Fair. as you should have no like seriously like i said it wasn't just like students who would make fun of me too i would also get bullied by one of my teachers i had this one teacher in high school who literally called like she put me on suicide watch because i wore all black to school like i i still wear all black like now sometimes i add a little bit of colors like i'll add like pink i'll add blue i'll add some like accessories but i still like wearing all black and that there's nothing wrong with me for liking all black clothing it's slimming and it makes my butt look good and like this teacher just was convinced that i had to have been suicidal because no one would talk to me i wore all black i drew anime characters like it is ridiculous but i still never thought to myself hmm wow maybe i should bring a weapon to school and that'll show them no like <laughs> And crazy God, bro what's with these school threat stories bro you think i'm gonna be on your side man no i'm not i hope you learn from this don't be seriously a school threat. it's yeah. not cool dude exactly when i was in high school it was revealed that the mystery meat they've been giving no. us for almost four years was monkey meat so apparently the meat supplier for the school was a crooked piece of <laughs> who wanted to make a huge profit so instead of chicken or i don't know horse meat he got us monkey meat is that legal that can't be legal right that <laughs> <laughs> That's all legal, right? <laughs> Let's just say the school was locked down afterwards and the supplier got arrested. Okay, That's okay. just so gross. That's yeah. probably being served in every yeah. in high school, honestly. Based on some of the meat I've seen in my old school, too. <laughs> what is that? What the fuck is that? What the, what's wrong? Ooh, what is that? Me also. No, 
blame oh. Michelle Obama for all of this. If it wasn't for her, you guys would have be eating monkey meat. Okay, that's even more disturbing. And also, I don't know if that's necessarily Michelle Obama's problem. That's this got weirdly political for no reason. So basically, there has been this rumor going around, and it is that Jimmy smashed Josh's girl. So people kept it away, of course, and it ain't true. But Josh, he's a rebellious MF. He picks fights, so you know what he did? He smacked his girl and beat Jimmy's ass. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um. What? I'm sorry, but this clown believes rumors and was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go beat my girl and I'm gonna go beat this guy. Like, so what, is this guy just gullible? Like, you, you could just tell him anything at this point. Like, I feel bad for his girl, I felt bad for Jimmy. And honestly, maybe she, she, she should have, she should just leave you for Jimmy because uh, whoever this Josh person is clearly is um, not a very smart guy. Am I supposed to know who these people are? All right, so I'm going <laughs> to do a speed run around real quick on a okay. bunch of short confessions I got. Okay. So I can put mm -hmm. as many confessions in this video okay. as possible. Oh! So three, wait, two. wait, wait, hold on. What is this a game? Am I supposed what is to this? know who these people are? All right, so I'm going to do a speed run. Black emoji any percent. Is this a speed run where you select the black emoji from all of like the character emojis? Th that's not a real thing, is it? Right? Run around real quick on a bunch of short confessions I got. So I can put as many confessions in this video as possible. So three, two, one, let's go. I sold explosives at school. Why? Why? Stop doing this. Like, stop. There is no reason for this. There are other ways to resolve conflicts that do not involve violence like that someone put rat poison inside the water what why <laughs> stop it she ran over a student someone what put fuck? laxatives in the school lunch yeah okay that one's kind of funny i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that one's kind of now that's how you get revenge <laughs> now that one that one mario approves group chat leaked okay so the only time that that's like a bad thing is if you're spreading nudes or you're doing targeted harassments or you're talking to a bunch of people. That's like the only three things that I could possibly think of where you would have this kind of reaction. And honestly, if you're doing any of those three things, you're kind of a person. I smoked a blunt, got high, then sucked my homie's feet for two hours. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> it's not. That's not real. That's not real. That's not real. 16 minutes. Bro, <laughs> what the hell? My teacher said I'd be a oh, failure. Speaking. So I slept with her husband. If only you Wh knew. I, I don't know. So, no. So why don't you tell him? The fat kid in my school fought someone over a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Nutted in a saxophone. Oh, no. No, that's not real. A girl got pregnant with her stepbrother's kid and had a miscarriage in a fight. I'm a What the Hold on. Nutted in a saxophone. Uh -huh. A girl got pregnant with her stepbrother's kid uh -huh. and had a miscarriage. Okay, what is this? What? What? What is this? You can't be doing that. If you you can't be what you doing with the kid? What is going on with there? It's not a. What is that? That has to hurt. That has to hurt. So what is like that? That has to hurt. That that there's no way. Marriage in a fight. I'm gonna leave it at that. Damn. I shoved my uh, bat <laughs> Charlie stick up multiple people's ass. <laughs> Wait. What? Like the entire school was crazy. My school boring as hell, bro. <laughs> That's a real. Yeah, that one's the most realest confession out of all this. Same. I was eating jerks chickens in the stall when some dude walked in thinking no one is in there, and I ended up spraying on him. <laughs> What? Nasty. Once I was caught reading Yaoi in class. I do homeschooling, by the way. Okay. And I have two teachers sit at both sides of my table. Ooh. So, so your parents call you. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Also, someone was stabbed over two dollars. All right, enough what with the, the fuck? speed run round. Let, let's go back to the normal confessions, you know? What do you mean the normal confessions? None of this has been normal the entire time. So I used to run a school confession Instagram account. Then there was one confession that I got about a girl <laughs> a dog and got <gasps> pregnant. No, no, no! What the fuck? Why would you do that? Wait, that's a, how is that even possible? I'm... I need a moment. <coughs> 
sorry. I ha I needed a moment there. Um, first of all, I don't think that is biologically possible. I don't. I even want to get into the morality about the situation. I'm assuming she had slept with somebody, and that somebody is the reason why she got pregnant. I I don't think this has anything to do with that, and that is absolutely disgusting. How is that possible? It's not. I didn't even know that. I it's live not. in an Islamic country to an Islamic school, which if y'all know means the guys and gals are separated. And the only way we can even sniff the guy's presence is to talk to them on Insta or whatever. But some freaking how, one of the girls from my class had S, unfiltered pure S with a guy in one of the girls' bathrooms in- Wait, what is it? What do they mean by unfiltered? What is what is this language? The girl's section and it gets worse because not only did this happen in seventh grade, but also apparently these two were half siblings. What the kind of explains how they were able to meet up. But still, these mother effers got expelled when they found out. But how did they find out? Uh, well, uh the girl uh, got pregnant. And from what I've heard, it was twins. Oh my. Stop. Stop. Stop! No! Uh, they actually had the babies. Uh, and to this day, I will never find out why she had S in the school bathroom with her half brother. That's disgusting. Someone please save me from this freaking life. Help! Half brother? I, oh god. Half, not even a step brother. Half? There is a lot of things <coughs> wrong with, with these confessions. I, I might need to lay down. Some kid jump off the second story of the school auditorium to avoid getting a Spanish test. What the fuck? We still got the test. Imagine willing to sacrifice. Okay, there's... Mm, mm, no, that is actually really sad. Dude, there's so much more to life. Like, you will get over the test. Even if you fail the test, like, there's so much more than life beyond tests and stuff like what that is th some kids are just really mentally unwell and they need a lot of help like that's that's extreme and then <clears throat> the teacher still taking the test I, I i'm surprised they didn't cancel school i'm really surprised Sacrifice your legs to avoid a spanish test just to still get the test and fail you'd have to watch out for me bro one time in eighth grade i saw my crush walk into the girls bathroom to take a dump and after she was done i licked the toilet that's disgusting no stop you didn't you did not do that See, bro you guys have not heard of self-restraint the craziest thing that happened in my school in the uk would definitely be when someone came in with a medical needle and started stabbing other kids with it he's then started to say that it was aids and as you may be able to predict a lot of kids ain't appreciate it so a lot of oh. them tried to f up but he was so quick until a bunch of kids blocked the door just to beat the living hell out of him and just when you think it's over what two the feds hell? charged in the classroom and literally tackled him to the ground and cuffed him so yeah we all wondered why the teachers ain't do anything because like this kind of thing doesn't go unnoticed well what? that's because they literally called the cops and didn't want him to expect it and that's not true the teachers didn't um, do anything because they didn't want to catch aids either they yeah um so you can't do that that is actually highly illegal you cannot be like maliciously spreading aids like that is illegal he just waited for the cops a whole investigation took place and i'm pretty sure our school made the news but there's a lot they missed out anyways fuck you you syringe swinging we had to get metal detectors and search North Korea airport style oh, for the next wow. year. Going into school and purposely trying to spread AIDS is a act that only the most nefarious. Okay, that was <laughs> people would do. Hope you're safe, bro, and I hope you didn't. Catch Sorry, this. I'm not laughing at the AIDS thing. I am. I am laughing at this deranged. Like, no, 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 not that. I'm laughing at this yeah, stupid. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Safe, bro, and I hope you didn't catch yeah. it. Yeah. All right, bro, check it. Well, if you catch it, like that's it. Your life is over. Your life is over. Like that's awful. Because you will genuinely not believe this. Shit. Now I'm from an area called the DMV, and let me tell you something. Bitches in the DMV are batshit crazy. Back in the seventh grade, I had a very deadly. Isn't the DMV like? What, isn't that where people get their driver's license? Is it, is, wait, or is this something different entirely? I'm confused. 
beef with practically everybody in my grade. I was chill with like nine people, but the rest wanted to see my ass more dead than Will Smith's career. One night when what? I came home from school, I was chilling in my room when my mom breaks down the door like SEAL Team 6 and snatched my phone out my hands like it's a ghetto girl's weed. Oh, okay, stop. 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 There, this is some creative, like, confession writing here. She starts scrolling through it and goes into my camera roll, then proceeds to tell the person who she was on the phone with that my phone was clean. It was my principal. I was weirded the fuck out until she came back 30 minutes later asking me if I had made any threatening or even said things that sounded remotely threatening about my school. I said no while she proceeded to show me an email with screenshots of a Snapchat account with vaguely threatening messages. The Snapchat account was a fake account of me oh. and I was shocked as my mom told me to go to bed, says my principal, who was known for calling the police a lot over small things. Wow. I called the cops to protect the school. Again. Uh, we're going to have to go to the police station to clear everything out with the cops and explain the situation to me. What I was able to find out through some digging and a fucking confession to one of my friends who went undercover was that this was another one of my ex-best mm -hmm. friend's boys to get me expelled. They used a VPN on mm -hmm. all accounts and burner devices to fake an account of mm -hmm. me. Long story short, I ended up leaving the yep. school and finishing my last month online aka watching mm -hmm. netflix all day while my brother went online exposed their evil deeds and the culprits got beat up for it yeah that's um wow if this is real i like i sometimes kids will just do some of the most evilest things like i remember back in high school there was this girl named angel and i'm gonna call her angel because she was anything but and she would do this like really messed up stuff where like if she liked guy like she's one of those types of friends where if you introduced her to any of your guy friends she would flirt with all of them and then go around talking crap about you to those guy friends and stuff it was like one of those types of girls so like some people will do some messed up stuff just out of jealousy and pettiness and just overall being cruel like still back then like in high school you really figured all that stuff out it's crazy Hey, at least there's a happy ending. Instead of studying for tests, you know, you, you have to be studying how to ruin else's, someone else's life. Damn, bro. Who the hell are your ops? The League of Villains? I never understood having ops in, like, this young of an age. Seventh grade? Mm. Damn, bro. What you do to have so much beef with so many people, bro? All right, let's read one last... Sometimes it really is just nothing. Like, you could be not doing anything or it could just be something that you're not even aware of like maybe a guy had talked to you that somebody else liked or a girl had talked to you that somebody else liked and you're not even interested in that person that could set somebody off like it could just be anything and it doesn't get any better after high school either last one there's this pick me that literally no one likes not even the teachers so like last week we had a history test everyone loves the history teacher and the class was dead silent you know working hard and stuff but like near the end of the class the pick me got up and yelled i'm done and everyone looked at her and this boy shut told her to shut the fuck up. up the teacher heard it and she didn't say anything so the pick me was complaining how it was unfair and how everyone is so rude and all the teacher was doing is staring at her and the pick me said that's why you have so many miscarriages okay whoa 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 wow um that's wow yeah, that's crazy. The teacher just got back from the hospital after her third miscarriage. They okay, okay, so okay, that that is actually kind of messed up. Wait, wait, what? The teacher got up and smacked her. Then yeah. all the okay, okay, lady, you can't do that. You you you're you can't do that. You can't hit you can't hit a student. That's not you can't do that. I understand. I understand. It was really, really evil for her to say that to you. I get that. I totally do. But you cannot hit a child. The girls in the class, including me, got up and beat <laughs> what? The out of the pick me. She ran out of class and came back with the principal. But everyone said the pick me was lying for attention. And people told the principal what the pick me said. There, how do you fake like red marks and bruises and stuff after coming out of the... T how do you fake that though? about the teachers so she got suspended the class made a promise to never speak about what actually happened and to protect the history teacher i can't tell if you guys are the heroes or the villains of this story bro i don't know whose side to take on this one so i'ma just well uh, well this is all th these people are all terrible but i i don't understand if you just got beat up how are you gonna go to the principal and like not have any marks on you especially after getting smacked and like i feel like there's always two sides to the story. There's the pick me side, there's the class side, and then there's a third side, which is the truth. 
How do we know that this quote unquote pick me wasn't bullied the entire time and then they became a pick me because it was the only way they could figure out how to get attention. And then not only that, girl, if you are the pick me, you should not be saying that to the teacher. I like that's highly inappropriate. And then everyone else going in there and like, what is wrong? I hate everybody in this. Everybody is garbage in this entire process. And that's all the confessions I'm gonna be reading today. I know these were a lot more tame than the last ones, but I'm not trying to- What do you mean this was a lot more tame than the last ones? How many other confessions have you been doing and how bad are they? You know, after watching this, I kind of want to sit down and read all of your guys' confessions because I, I just feel like some of these were made up. Like, I do believe some of them, but I, some of them, I'm, I'm just like, there's, there's no way that these are real. There's no way. So if you want me to make a video reading your guys' school confessions, then I will link my marshmallow in the description down below and you can share some of your wild and crazy school experiences with me anonymously or you can comment down below whatever things you feel comfortable with because I know you guys wouldn't lie to me about your confessions, right? And if I get enough confessions, then I'll read them live on stream with my friend Mykora because I don't think you guys would lie to us about your actual confessions, right? Like you wouldn't make up some random things like that. Does this stuff really happen? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And remember, don't be licking bathroom toilet seats. Like seriously, what the hell's wrong with you?